Hey everybody and welcome back to Crip Monkey Paint. Where tonight I am painting Famine from Board of the Print. And technically this big beautiful is simply Famine's out. That's Famine. Um, and uh, one of the beautiful things I love about models is you don't see all the details until you start getting a base coat on. This guy, a vicious mouth. Like, it's just, it's just teeth. Just straight up teeth. You'll be able to see it better when I start getting, like, highlights and everything in there. But it's literally just, I love it. I love it. So, Famine has an armored mount and pigs and everything else every which way. So, there is a ton of stuff to paint. So, I'm going to start painting. This was picked by Golden Ghosty uh, last week from with the Alter the Stream points. So, and then Cora used their Alter the Stream. Hi, Rock Fan. Sorry. <laughs> you want to zoom out a little kind of bit? Yeah, I kind of forgot. Um, so Cora wanted to use their points for a green theme so basically like i will be using other colors but green is going to be the overall theme and especially famine and his mount are going to be of the green persuasion Is that uh, better yeah i think that's good oh and you can even see like i've got my um hello rock fan so i base coated everything in i got it all black and then i put like a a nice cocoa brown over the top of that just so that i would pretty lightly with the cocoa brown just so that i'd have a nice kind of two-toned undercoat and then because there's so many details on him i am doing the opposite of what i normally i'm doing a really slap quick done with the base so that I can get to him. And I've got a gray um dry brush over the base coat. And right now I'm actually using that was the ash gray that I did first. Now I'm using Army Paint Army Green. Kind of it it still just looks like a different tone of gray. But I can make it heavier in spots, and it'll it'll have a a green hue to it. Rockfan says green is best color. For the longest time, I thought green was my favorite color. Until someone pointed out to me that I was wrong. Who was that? Um, I was. I was talking to my sister Heather and I believe it was Heather and uh they asked me your favorite color is green why do you want why do you always get everything in orange <laughs> cuz orange is like the best color and like well then why isn't orange your favorite color I'm like <laughs> oh might be uh, Green is still a very close second, but orange is, is technically, I think, my, my actual. Only one or two colors in the world that I'm like, no. Nah. So, in general, I'm happy with it. I just don't really like drawing with color because it's hard. Black and white is so much easier. <laughs> so I might get a little distracted. Um, I've been feverishly painting for about two days now, trying to get some commissions knocked out. And so I've been... Usually when I'm sitting and painting and painting and painting, I just kind of get into my own little world. Uh, 
I've been doing that for two days, so I might kind of zone out and just not paying attention. Unintentional. But it's my, my happy place. So it doesn't look green green, but it definitely has green hints at it. But I'm going to call that pretty and good and done. I'm going to get started on him. Now the fun part, try to decide if I want to do his armor first. Or if I want to start on all these little fiddly bits. You know, armor's going to be shiny. So no shiny. Also, the brush I'm using works well. Army painters again. Pretty much, we've got all army painter here except for one Vallejo, one Reaper, and one Citadel. Everything else is going to be army painter. The organized color, a little color span of of paints out in front of me tonight. I stopped working on time and started organizing myself. I was eating snacks. Yes, I am a tattletale. So, start on this. Not exactly dry brushing, but want to go real heavy because I like the color it is. I just want to probably going to end up doing a couple of coats. So Rock Fan in uh, Discord, you were talking about Robin Hood and I'm not going to lie, I immediately went to the, you know, the, the Disney version with um, the fox and the bear and all that kind of stuff. I totally want like a fox character and that building. <laughs> Shit. Gareth. Get the hell out of me. And Ty just walked away, so you didn't get him. You'll have to do it again in a minute. Been telling Ty, I need to have music like you do, Gareth. Quite nice to sit and paint to your music yesterday. <laughs> God damn it! He wasn't back yet. You were supposed to wait. Hi, Gold. Hi, Golden. Ty's got the lasers running. So he's like in and out. He's just about finished, I think. You guys are. Oh, yep. I hear the garage door closing. And they're getting everything locked up and shut up and eating snacks without me. Not right, ma'am. <laughs> yes, Rock Fan, I think the Disney one... Well, I don't know if it's the Disney one that is the only one that counts. Stop! Did you leave me a slice of that cake? The blueberry lemon cake? No. Mm. Or I ate it all? He said as he, you know, followed the last piece. Anyway, I do like some other versions, but yeah, that is definitely my favorite. I don't know how many of these you have read already. Uh, being 
all Dr. Evil with the lasers. <laughs> so that was the last, that's the one I didn't read. I guess you guys were talking about me. Freaking laser beam. <laughs> Freaking yes. laser beam. That looks like really dark, like they can't all. Oh, he's so dark. And mm. then I had it in the shadow. Yoshi <laughs> cake. Uh, well, I do have a lemon and, uh, a lemon, like, cake cake, but that was lemon and blueberry pound cake that he just, which technically I did buy for him. I ate it. It looks okay when I've got it like this, but whenever I am where else to hold did you want me to piece exposure or something uh no but i think maybe zoom back out because he's so big i'm off camera again it's pretty much the company I got. look ty's doing stuff besides eating cake well out of cake not out out no i guess not <laughs> That other cake is a little bit much to have during. That zoomed all the way out. I can move the camera too if you want. Tilt it, I mean. I just have to. Which is not super easy for me because I. Bad puzzle. So. I have not. <laughs> we're, we're working on the new layout. Yes. I is working. I am super excited about it because we're running out of time. That's why Ty's working on it. <laughs> I, well, and I was telling Ty, I as soon as it's done, I want to I want to move over to it because like this layout looks great, but sort of like now I know what what I could have instead. I mean. It's it's realistically it's not that much different than this. It looks better. Yeah, and as soon as I finish that, we'll start using it. But then I have to start working on Halloween month's layout. That's when Gareth comes in with his good. <laughs> well, my phone went to sleep. Lazy phone. Like not showing. It's kind of beneficial because it's like in my line of sight when I'm like getting paint or anything, I can see chat over here. Did have to get new new paints for this because I did not have enough green, enough different greens, I should say. There says, "Eh, what did I do?" Oh, she she was suggesting that was a good time for you to come in with the get good scrub. Oh yeah. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm so distracted. I'm like, I'm just slapping paint on it. That's all I'm doing. Rock fan says spooky months are the most important. Three. That's why we don't just celebrate it on the 31st of October, huh? <laughs> no. And I can even I, I can even tell that, you know, other people are getting ready for Halloween because so much so much more of our Halloween themed miniatures are kind of flying out right now. And and our modelers too. We see 
things they're planning for oh, next month. Yes. That's next month. I'm so excited ready for Halloween. Yes, next month, uh, Epic Miniatures is going to have like this really, really cool witch. I cannot wait for her. I meant to post pictures of her today in uh, the 3D printing channel, and I completely forgot. Changing a light bulb. I, all day. Shiny? Not so shiny. Shiny? Not so shiny. That's how easily I'm distracted today. <laughs> Anywho. Um, like the pumpkin heads are always like they, they, they sell year round, but they really do. They really do. But they, they start kind of, it gets to the point where I print out like 10 to 15 sets and I just have them sitting over to the side ready for shipping. And our, our mimic pumpkin. Yeah. The, the pumpkin, the pumpkin king, the pumpkin king. The, he's the not pump a king. He's not a mimic. He's a, um. A holder. Yeah, that's it. Sorry. That guy sells year round. Yeah. Rockfan says my DM has already started Ravenloft. Yes. Uh Kitsuni of the Moon says Halloween should be all year long. Agreed. You are in the right place with the right people. <laughs> Ghosty says, so cool news. I'm about to finish printing my Viking Longship. Nice. Uh, the the La at bit. Will be done printing in about an hour. What? A lot at bit. Where are you reading? Not sure. Garrus says, get good, Ty. Get good, the Lasaris calibrated for the good projects. <laughs> um, I, I, I found it. Right. right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rockin says, I need to prep more spooky pins. Yes. Yeah. Those should be prepped here. Rock fan, do you do you sell your pins on Etsy or anything like that? I keep finding these random supports. They're not even like on there, not really holding on. They're just still sitting there. Uh, Ghosty says, "Ah, that was rough. My last print will be done in about a half an hour." I don't know what that sound was. If that's why you were looking at me, yeah, I'm sure something's on good. fire. I'm gonna go check. Considering oh, wow. that one of my painted models is out there, I'm in before. A rock fan does not sell on Etsy or anything like that. Rock fan sells at their local flea market. Tsuni of the Moon says, Court told me about you guys, so I downloaded Twitch to watch you. Oh, I did. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. Rockfans had just started and building things up. There you go. Cora is currently babysitting the puppy. He doesn't like this. I have no earthly idea what the sound was. It's the sound of October coming. Honestly, what it sounded like was the the popping that my jelly makes when it starts to cool. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing like that in there. Not make jelly. In a while. Or it did. Or it made some very jelly at the tree. First batch of jelly out of them. <laughs> oh, he's biting, biting me. That's another lovely thing about <clears throat> painting is injure a hand. <laughs> Even more painful. It's Uni the Moon says, It's me. I'm hiding in the closet. <laughs> There's dishes to do while you're hiding. Could you like, you know? Yeah, hide in our house and get you put to work. <laughs> yeah. 
So dinner needs to be put away. It should be cool enough. And then uh, dishes washed. And then you can go back to hide. Just be fair warned. I tend to play hide and go seek here randomly without warning anybody. I just start hiding. And uh, I don't care if it's your. See which one gets bored first. It's sitting in the moon says, Do I at least get a bite of cake? Well, as long you as you get don't want the whole freaking slice. Yeah, whole slice. You just can't have the um, blueberry cake. Dude, if you're going to do, do my dishes, I will go buy more blueberry. It may still be gone by the time you get here. <laughs> One of the things I really like about this model is the armor is all like super rough. It's dinged up and banged up. It's got bubbles on it. God damn it. Did he get you this time? Because he got me when he came in. Yeah, I puckered so hard this chair's almost gone. That's gross. <laughs> I like all the banged up. Plating on his. Oh, what I was saying, I was cooking dinner the other night. The. And was sitting a little too far over. So I was like, well, I'll just push it really quickly. I'll barely touch it. It's fine. Burn the ever living crap out of my finger. Funny, too, because I pretty much immediately went over to the water, and Ty's reaction was, oh shit, it must be bad. <laughs> Normally, I burn my hands. And I'm like, ah, I'm fine. Not fine. <laughs> so, no. so not fine. Uh, Kara says, we're going to turn Ty's chair into a diamond here soon. Yuck. <laughs> and Gareth also says, what metal paint are you using? It is Army Painters Metallic Glitter Green. So I... Base, I, I did say that earlier, and I, I kind of started that really soon. I sprayed the whole thing black just so that I'd have really good shadows. And then I put a brown kind of lightly over that just so I'd have two toned shadows sort of thing. Um, so now I'm just kind of coming over that, and I'm, I'm really just dry brushing really, really lightly. Um, but it's not really dry brushing. You know how you're not really beating the all the paint out. I'm not beating the devil out of it. Um, but I don't have a lot of paint on my brush. And I'm not... You know what I mean. So I'm going over it really lightly so the shadows are still... The dings are staying dinged up looking. Nate the Adventure says, Good evening. Hello, Nate. Hello, Nate. How Hi. is everyone? Some cake. Why? Why are we still on the cake? I wish I had some more cake. <laughs> You're not going to get more cake. I'm mine now. Yeah. <clears throat> now I'm going to go put some browns out. Do monster brown. I'm going to use monster brown for the barrels. So basically, like be all of the stuff for him. Is going to be in green tones, but I will be using other colors for other things. Rock fan says he's looking shiny already. I like that armor. Nate the Adventurer says, I have orange chicken. Would that compensate for cake? No. I mean, I like food, so. <laughs> Rock fan says, and cake is a lie. 
And well, it's gone, whatever it is. Peepcho says, you're not Bob Rossing it against the easel. <laughs> Gareth yeah. says, cool, thanks. Gareth had a good show last night. Yes, Gareth. That was fun. I was saying that I think you were not in the room. I was enjoying painting to his music and listening to him jabber while I painted. Uh, Nate asks, no beating the devil out of the brush? Not today. But I have. Or and I were talking about tattoos uh sunday and cora was saying how they want to get a tattoo of of just the leg of an easel and a brush the end of a brush very very blurry and nothing more than that but people would get it uh-huh rockin says okay the real civil war starts cake versus pie cheesecake makes the best pie my favorite pie is cheesecake Remember my camera. Meet the adventure says, I went to paint last week, only to find that all of my brushes are missing. Uh-oh. Not fun. Mystery of the missing paintbrushes. I would tell you, check your hair. <laughs> uh, Nate the adventure says, Mmm, bye. Behold, for I am death, eater of pie. Dooney the Moon says, Cheesecake! I agree. I love cheesecake. It loves me too. It just hangs around forever. Worth it. So easy to make. Anyway. Nate the Adventurer says, I must have left them in my kit at friend's house, but my friend whom I paint with says it isn't at their house. Sneak in while they're sleeping and check. Um, Creepshow says, isn't real cheesecake like the best of both pie and cake? I'm borderline with it's just the best. Full stop. Rockfan says, Cheesecake is a secret double agent for Team Pie. I like that. I always have to make <clears throat> two cheesecakes though, when I make it. Because the way I like to make it so pretty is I make a chocolate sauce to go over the top, and then I put strawberries on top of that. So pretty. But I don't like chocolate or strawberries. So I make one ugly one for me and one pretty one for everyone. <laughs> Nate the Adventure says, I've never really liked cheesecake. Maybe I've just never had good cheesecake. That or you're a bad person. <laughs> I did not like cheesecake for a very long time. See? Dawn's a very bad person. We already knew. <laughs> I was proving your <laughs> Ruffin says also spooky season is coming pumpkin, pumpkin pie. pie time yes. I didn't even have to look I knew it's pumpkin pie it's of the moon says so I think we need to back together I think we need to back together I don't know what bake that means. together. Oh, bake. Oh, yeah. They fixed I'm usually it at pretty the good. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> I'm usually better looking ahead, too. Um, Nate says, Ow. Well, I am, I am that as well. <laughs> Nate says, Oh, great. I'm trying to lose weight, not gain it. Pumpkin pie is my nemesis. I hear you. Um, speaking of spooky, I, oh, go ahead. I was, just, I 
I'm sticking on the food. I always make my pumpkin pie with, um, instead of using pie crust, I use graham cracker crust. Except I don't use graham crackers. I use um, ginger snaps instead of graham crackers. It has like a ginger flavor, of, which goes really well with pumpkin. So, my baking tip. A ruffian says, idea D and D cake painting stream. Well, you could do that because you used to do that uh, cake decorating and stuff too. Yeah. Um, or D and D pumpkin painting stream. See, now I want to make a cake that's a D and D map. Little characters go around and fight on the. Nate says, oh no, I really, I already can't resist pumpkin pie. Why do you have to make it even more delicious sounding? <laughs> it's per good. Okay. Biggest tip for pumpkin pie. Rather than using those stupid ass little pumpkin pie pumpkins, which dumbest name ever, butternut squash actually makes a more pumpkin-y flavor pie than pumpkin. It's better. So we were talking about everybody else getting ready for Halloween oh, months. Are supposed to use metal. I don't have. You know what? We're going to use those green because you know how they, I'm sorry, they have metal bands. Nate says what? Yep. Yep. Butternut squash. Sorry. Yes. The metal bands. Metal bands on the barrels. I'm going to use his green armor because I did not. Alec. What is this? The first time you're using the new paints is or is it just the first time on stream uh it's the first time on stream and i've used one of the colors before ruby uh katsune of the moon how about pumpkin pie cheesecake yes turns out really really good i don't think i've had that have i i made little baby ones Oh, that does sound familiar. Because I wasn't sure if anyone was going to eat them, so I didn't make a bunch. And they were the first thing gone. Nate says, impossible. Um, Ghosty says, so butternut squash pie. Yeah, it's just pumpkin pie, but it's better than using pumpkin. <laughs> I guess it's technically butternut squash pie, but yeah, well, and, and it my tastes kid, like what you think pumpkin pie should taste like. When my kids will ask... So, hey, mom, can you make a, a butternut squash pie instead of pumpkin pie? But I, you just, it's super simple. You just get a butternut squash and cut it in half, which is actually the hardest part of it. And then you roast that for a few hours, which is like no time of yours. And then you scoop it out, puree it, and boom, you're ready to go. Ruffin says butternut squash is a cousin to pumpkin. It pumpkin's better than pumpkin. Um... It's like how adding pear stuff makes apple things taste more apple. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, anyways, so we were talking about how other people are getting ready for Halloween month, but, but we also were, we started working on our, um, we want, we'd like to finish out the year for content items for subscribers. Um, on Patreon. What do we got? We've got it figured out up to October. So of course, we're, we're being thematic for the end of the year. <laughs> Getting some nice Halloween-y type stuff for subscriber content. We've got a, Yeah, we've got a few things picked up. We've got September set, uh, with the exception of we're waiting for the poll result. It's in. Oh, it's in? Okay. We're, cool. we're going to Treasure Hunter is what they chose. That's what we're going to do for class next okay. month. So then September is, is situated, October is situated, except for in September we'll release one more poll. We'll do another poll and let you guys and That'll make vote up on. the finish of that. And then November ha is almost set. Again, kind of being thematic with that one too. I've even started writing the... Uh, 
campfire story november well for those that don't know we're talking about the subscribers on patreon for plane which we crowdforge on wednesday if you want to get involved in crowdforging you don't have to be a subscriber or anything just hop on hey hey you don't shake the table oh i will kick my ass Little tiny. Uh, I did print this smaller, obviously. <laughs> um, this is not the size he normally is. I think he's at 60% on this scale. I think that's right. <laughs> I yell at him for shaking the table, and what do you do? You scare the hell out of me. Go around these tiny little ass rims. Barrels are almost done. I feel like we're almost out of time already, too. No. No. We have over an hour. Um, if I don't finish this today, which his base is basically finished, um, what I plan on doing is got my circle rot. Oh, rot. So once there, there's some areas that are going to be awesome to put Nurgle rot on this guy, but I'm going to, um, once he's on the base, I'll put Nurgle Rot kind of coming down his legs and onto the base as well. That'll be like the last second. But anyway. Gareth had a little giggle over the last quack. Of course he did. Uh, he also says, yay, Nurgle. It yeah, we were talking about Nurgle last night mm -hmm. with, or you were, I mean. Ghosty says, hey, Dawn, do you print a model solid when the model comes in parts? Like most of the Lord of the Prince models... I have are in multiple pieces, but I could print them all together. Um. Okay. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna say this in a, probably a really stupid way, but it's the only way I can think to to answer that. Uh, Lore the Print usually does offer like like i didn't print i didn't put this piece together he's he had it the whole option or i could print it in the parts that he supplied so usually there's a folder that is or no he doesn't put anything in folders i have to put it in folders you'll see a full model like you'll see the the name and full and it'll be with the unsupported group or you'll see one that'll have like complete at the end if it's complete, it means it's attached to the model itself. If it's full, it's the model, and then you can print the base, and then he'll have everything in sections. The when he supports it, he usually has everything hollowed out. When he doesn't support it, it's not hollowed out. This one I didn't hollow out. Anything bigger than this, I would hollow. If it isn't already, I would hollow it myself because you're getting to the point where it's one, it's heavy to ship, and two, I'm, I would have to put some pretty, I had to put some pretty beefy supports on this, which I consider the medium supports, because I don't use heavy supports, I never do. Um, anything heavier than this, I would have to use the heavy supports, which start to leave pop marks on the model itself, which I don't want to deal with. I don't want to use it. Does that answer your question? Well, uh, he was also asking if when you print a model in parts, if you leave them solid, solid, and that's not always the case either. That's, it depends, that question is, is difficult to answer because it depends on the model. Um, something like a character model, yes, absolutely, I would leave that solid. There's no reason whatsoever to hollow it out. I only hollow models out if one, I've got a good place to put a drainage hole, which this one, 
I don't. There's nowhere to put a hole to drain the excess resin out. And usually what you want to do when you're doing uh, two, when you do a hole, you want to do two. One for the resin to come out and the air to come in so that it actually gets the out. Because I've run into that issue before. Um, so if I can't find a good place to put the drainage hole, then I don't, I don't follow it. Um, typically anything that is, um, on the thinner side, I just don't need to hollow it out. You're going to have a better print. If you don't need to hollow it out, it's, it's usually better. But if you have something that's giant, one, you want to save yourself some resin, and two, you don't want to put something together that's, you know, like the Brachiosaurus. That thing's solid, it would just fall over. The, the neck would never stay up and glued on without pinning the whole thing. It's just, it would just be way too heavy. So he says he, he didn't know he provided it. He thought it was something that you were doing. No, it's it's in the files. Um, you just and he doesn't have it for all of them. Uh, I've noticed like some of the older models that he uh, has still like on my mini factory, they won't be there. Um, a a full version won't necessarily be there. But I've noticed with all the new ones, as you know, he gets better and better and better. All of them have. A full version and a complete version. And that's not like universal for every sculptor. I'm, I'm specifically talking about Lord of the Print. Um, and it's a conversation that Ty and I have had multiple times of. After a while you get to learn the sculptor. And you get to learn how they label things. How they. What they name things. Um. Like Epic Miniatures, I can look at the model itself. Usually what he'll do is three different versions of the same model, three different stances. And I can pretty much guess what he's going to call that version and that version and that <laughs> version. God damn it. <laughs> what the hell, Gareth? Gareth's getting in the mood oh, for Halloween mom. He's getting button happy. You know what it is? He's got too many points built up. <laughs> oh. oh, for those of you who haven't been here in a, a little, a week or two, I have stopped restricting the um, alter the stream point. There says perfection. Oh, I was going to ask you to talk about that because you didn't sign anything. Uh, and that's going to be my typical is alter the stream. I'm not going to assign any any choices anymore unless it's like, okay, this is a special thing. And yes, I do have options. In general, it's going to be, yay, barrels are done. In general, it's going to be go find what you want on the Etsy shop and let me know and I'll paint it. Within reason, <laughs> uh, I'm not going to paint a dragon duel. Not, not. <laughs> Not in one stream, for damn sure. Um, but even like this guy that, that Ghosty picked, this is him printed, scaled down to... Sit right. There we go. Um, he scaled down... I, I believe it's 60% is what he scaled down to. Um, normally he sits... And that's about right. Maybe it's about 70%. Because normally his base is uh, 100 millimeters, and it's it's a little under 75 right now. So probably like 70%. But this is the size I knew I could get painted in two days for sure, if not finish it today. Rockfan says that was a good scare, Gareth. Don't encourage him. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, Kupcho says, giant beast of burden, brontosaurus? Yes. He's a big one. Yeah. He's, he's actually on the on the Etsy page, he's a Brachiosaurus. What he's listed at, not a Brontosaurus. Yeah, that's... Now it's time to pick another green. 
You know what? We are going to go with... I like how this army green looked. I'm going to use that. The uh, big guy's flesh. I think. Ooh, Ty, you know what? You're going to do a poll. Oh, go ahead. I'll do it. What, what do you want a, a Twitch poll for? Yes, we're going to do a Twitch poll for his skin color. Instead. So you're going to have three different options. Ty's going to start a poll. And rock fan, it's going to be on a Twitch, so you can just call yours out, and we'll add it to the total. Because Gareth does polls in their right side, you poll. This is for what? His his skin, the piggy guy's skin, the the mount itself. Okay, what's the first one? So army green. Okay. Neurotic flesh. <laughs> neurotic. Necrotic flesh. Necro like, what did I say? But neurotic. I'm like, neurotic uh, flesh? That's necrotic weird. Necrotic flesh. <laughs> necrotic. Shut up. Flesh. Neurotic flesh. And scaly hide. By de jour. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right. one minute. One minute. One minute, guys. Here we go. One minute and, and go. Brown fur color. Kind of a tone to it. So I've thought that would look really good. Big carcasses, because that would make them look like they were um, smoked. So I will work on those. We are waiting. Rock fan says, but I am, but I am a Sam. I have to be encouraging. I don't make the rules. <laughs> uh, this is one for necrotic flesh. There's a good contrast. Is what... And it technically is in the green family. I know it doesn't really look like it. It's, it's. Looks green to me. It's between beige and green. Had a baby. So that's a reason to question it on. Green, sigh, a generic color. That's what Creep Show said. <laughs> I'm sticking in the green family because that was points spent for me to do that. You know what I just realized the problem is, is I'm trying to get closer to the camera, and the closer I get to the camera, the more I'm coming out of my light. From That's all I actually need. All right, well, Necrotic Flesh won. Awesome. Pretty sure that's one. So, all kind of different spoke to me. I'll come back and add a couple of that I can do highlights with, and I've got a or. Creepso says, just sneak red in. No one will notice. I, I might not. <laughs> uh, Kitsune of the Moon says, I have to get my little goblins to bed, but it was a pleasure tuning in. I'll definitely be back sometime. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out. Give the little ones extra cuddles. What, uh... Definitely a human leg. Say by the short length of this one, it's either a child leg or a skinny to be elf leg.
Well, that's just terrible. Child versus dwarf? Elf? Or? Well, there's a leg there. I'm assuming it's child versus famine and his mount. <laughs> I'm just saying. See right here. That's one leg. That's the other leg. And very obvious shaped legs. So one is about half the size of termination. Could be, you know, or first half laying me. Yeah. <laughs> Just awful. Rockfin says, I'm hoping it's a dwarf leg. I like dwarf. I don't know if you're worried about, are you worried about kids or is it, do you just like crispy fried dwarf leg? <laughs> you're not a good person. <laughs> I'm getting into Halloween mode here. <laughs> uh, yeah, another. Uh, Crypto says, So, what if someone altered the stream to paint an insect? have insects right yeah we do um i want to say i'll be fine rockman says and not a kid leave the kids out of it well i mean uh you've painted spiders for me and stuff and you really hate those guys yeah i just don't want to talk about it <laughs> it's like it's i'm okay painting it until everyone keeps talking about it like that was what the problem was when we were looking at all this fucking Sorry, my language. Stupid stamped boxes. Like the more everyone had to kept calling out what they wanted and everything. It was just it was so bad. Oh, I was fine until we started talking about it and saying them over and over again. Uh, and I got all twitchy. <laughs> Garrett says, so what bug is Dawn's least favorite bug? <clears throat> um, spider. Rockman says bugs can go die. Creep show says it was so bad. Take out bad and inset funny. Yeah, I'm getting too many in there. Yeah. I, I basically, I just, I, yes, creep show. If somebody spends their points, I'm going to paint what they spend their points for. That's the answer. But, uh, I zone out. <laughs> In order to... I don't think it really bothers you when they're on the table either. No. Because it's like this giant, huge spider versus your small character. And... Well, and also, the, the... I don't know. I'm. Yeah, I think it's more about. <laughs> huh? We do have some cool bugs on the site. I wouldn't be upset by painting. And Gareth, to answer your question, probably. <laughs> Properly, if it's a fucking bug, I hate it. I don't really have any, like, well, this one's not so bad, or this is the worst one ever. The worst one ever is whatever, the one that happens to be the closest to me at that moment. That's the worst one ever. Uh, Rockman says, I have borderline phobia of worms and worm-like bugs. Nope. All the nope. 
Nope. So if I finish my thought about tomorrow's painting and stuff, if I don't finish this, I'll finish it tomorrow. Uh, but if I do finish this, my intention is to work on mission piece. Oh, that's a good idea. I think he did say that earlier, and I didn't really think about it, but we're going to finish this thing. We have a topic for tomorrow. Yeah. Think of some things to put on a bowl and I'll do that. Ghosty says, hey guys, any suggestions to get two glued pieces separated? They are super glued together. Pretty dang good. Any suggestion? None that would be beneficial. Do you absolutely have to have them apart? And can you just reprint it? I have a little coping saw or something and then that's pin it. What I've done is saw uh, like used a saw to cut something apart. Use a um, pumpkin carving saw. Actually, that'll probably put a bigger gap in there than a coping saw will. Gareth might have a problem. Christy says they are misaligned good enough that I would like to get them apart and they are big enough that I wouldn't want to rent. Rockfan asked, do they need to be intact after separation? Because <laughs> a hammer will do it. <laughs> uh, oh, there says maybe work hammer. with X-Acto blade in there. Yeah, work an X-Acto blade in there. Yeah. Um, that's what Gareth suggests. Yeah, it, it's, it's not something that really goes well for me. So no, I, I don't have a good option. I realize he's got a breastplate. That was a excited all like. Oh. Yeah, all the things I can think of that would loosen up your super glue are also going to melt your plastic. Yeah, plastic. The same thing. <laughs> and, oh, never mind. you think of something yet? No, I was watching you. I knew that's what was happening. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me, let me think of a couple of... And haven't really been thinking about it because I'm so excited about the stuff we're working on for... Content item. Yeah. We put out the uh, river crawler last night for subscribers. It was a big one, but that was fun. It was fun to write that. A little hint about other things. Oh, uh, yeah. Gareth suggests to poke a pit, post a pic in Discord. <laughs> then we could give you some better advice. Oh, say that again. 
so funny. Oka pick. Oka pick. I don't know what I was trying to say. I mean, I know what I was trying to say. I thought you were going to say poke a, like, try to poke a stick in it to wedge <laughs> it. I'm like, the exact one I've made way more. Ish. Then I realized what you were actually going to say, and it was way funny. I'm a very visual person, so yeah, seeing it in Discord would be a lot easier to, to help. And I, I still have a feeling that uh, Gareth is going to be your your better option to listen to. Just yesterday, I was clipping something out of supports. I just set it down and walked away. Like, I can't clip this out while i'm upset because it's not it's gonna break I'm just gonna just gonna walk away until i can calm down and clip it out but yeah no there's probably something that dissolves super glue that would work nice and calmly working with it to inch it apart and then I get it almost done and I would smack it with a hammer. <laughs> While I scream F you. Yeah. Well, if you guys know this about me, but I'm slightly impatient. Trip. Uh, I'll check. Just. I don't think so, Ghost. I don't think alcohol would work. No. I'm off the top of my head. I'm gonna. My gut says no, but I. I don't know that for sure. But I don't think that would dissolve it. <clears throat> it's probably gonna dissolve the, the resin plastic, <laughs> the same time or before the glue. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I don't think I would try to take that apart. I think I would I would just gap fill. Try to make it. I think I would try to just Line it, make it, make it work without taking it apart. I don't think I would try to take it apart. I don't, <clears throat> I think Gareth's idea, it, I think you're right. Um, rock fan and I, and Gareth, but I just, I know myself. I'm better off gap filling that than trying to get it back out. Alps thing me. Did have to thin this down. Ink. Wanted it to go in nice thin layer. All kind of stabby, though. Okay, I'm going to get the pole. I can highlight the teeth. You guys can see all the teeth.
Well, it's awesome, but not for the person that's. Okay, just about to start it. We're going to make it a two minute, three minute pull. High speed you are. Um, so the poll is going to be, what should we crowd forge tomorrow night? Rock fan, you can just call out your vote. Yes. Uh, the first option is the treasure hunter. That's an adventuring class. The second one is basically spitballing. Campfire story plots. Got the word story. Uh, and then the third option is the town of Flumpton. So we can spitball things, careers, creatures surrounding, whatever. Things that have to do with the town of Flumpton, which we haven't talked about before. Okay? Uh, campfire story plots. You guys can throw at us plots that you would like to see campfire stories for. And then the first option is going to be the Treasure Hunter Adventuring Club. All right. Boom. There we go. Two minutes. The poll is open. Did. Oh, I, yeah. You love the campfire stories. That doesn't really surprise me. You can't open our book, though. You have to make up new things. I love where the camp. I feel like it is more than normal. Rock fan votes that we talk about. Hmm? Are you trying to get it in the squares or something? No, just in general. I, I like to hold it back here and look. I feel like I'm sitting over this way well, but. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We're about halfway through. Vote. Anybody who hasn't voted yet but wants to crowd forge on one or wants to watch us crowd forge on one of these three items, be sure to get your vote in on Twitch now. Can't make it tomorrow. You can still vote. Yep. I almost forgot about the over here. Wouldn't I got a wonderful present in the mail the other day from Dorky Dino? Is it over there with you? It is. Okay. He sent me stickers. Super cute. Also, a harsh reminder, we still have to finish up packets. Sorry. Orgy. Rain boot. Cora was immediately trying to steal them. Rawr. I wanted to show them off before. So flippin' cute. 
before I stick them all over the house. Actually, what I usually do is uh, stick them. My stickers are kind of like lining the, the walls next to my desk. But guys, find door key. Can't do it well. But it's uh, dorkydino.com. Put a link. It's like really amazing artwork too. I have uh, quite a quite a few of the little pieces sitting around our house, decorating the game room, stuff like that. Um, so the little stickers, they were awesome. You guys should absolutely go check out Dorky Dino. All right. Okay, so we have poll results in. And the winner is Campfires. Oh. Campfire story plots. Yay. So tomorrow evening at seven thirty US Central Time, we will be crowd foraging. Uh, what kind of campfire story plots you guys would like to see us not develop? In this case, it's not developing an item for a game or for, for another story. It's writing stories. So we come up with some cool ones. We'll write them. We have a list. What I really want to be working on while you're working on that stuff is do OBS layout. It really works so much. Yeah, I'm worried I'd be using too many resources on this system if I had that open as well. Oh, boy, oh. oh bueno. Wait. Love is little. Under plate armor. Thanks, Henry. again my chat there it is but our network sector oh mess that Checking 
Looks like we're still on and fine. Local network. Happening. Yeah, there are the Uh, not sure. I don't think we're terribly long. I can't see finishing it. Really have any why I need Yeah, I'm... <laughs> that's why I'm getting sucked into something You're too. You're doing it too. What happens when? We're... <laughs> no, this is what happens when I wasn't productive enough. Or now I've got to work on things. <laughs> like uh, Sunday, I almost streamed Sunday while you were out. Well. I shouldn't say I almost streamed because that makes it sound like I got right up to the edge of it. Uh, I was thinking of streaming. Oh, Rockfan says we're fine on uh, YouTube, so that's good. Um, I was thinking of streaming Sunday just to basically hang out with anybody that wanted to hang out screen share while I was work working on OBS to get ready for our switch over here next month. And uh, instead, just kind of sat on the couch. <laughs> well, it's fun to say, oh, I'm being so productive. The truth is, it's like, oh, crap, I got to hurry up and finish some stuff. Asleep over there. We know. I'm just like I said. Just falling I'm... into the the paint strokes, huh? So easy to have. I really don't, because when I paint, just a ball of shaking nerves. Don't be nervous. Just why I'm really good at squiggly lines. <laughs> so you make, like, make a perfect. Three branches. <laughs> yeah. Gare says, getting the beds to bed, so I'll catch you guys tomorrow. All right, we'll see you then. See you tomorrow. And he posted something in Discord for Ghosties. 
Rockfan says couch time is important. It is. Sometimes I feel like we get too much. Sometimes I feel like we don't get enough. Don's like we. <laughs> nope. Do that, eh? So oh, I like the color here, but I don't like it in my palettes. So I'm going to goblin green. Goblin green, two green. That is pale. Nothing. Oh. I can take those. Famine has the bracelet? Yeah, he's got two bracelets on his wrist. I've got a uh, wizard orb. Eyeing me the whole time. That's going to be the blanket that he's sitting on. It looks like he's got dots around. Not sure if that's supposed to be a neck. Yeah, I can see now that I've got color on it. That ball of yeah. So with twenty minutes left, we're probably gonna be painting tomorrow. Then that's what I was saying. I, when you went to get the cool, I I don't see how I'm gonna finish. But I also this is not gonna be the only. No. Oh. I'll finish him up tomorrow. Then, uh, then I'll work on, I'll switch over to. I feel like I'm getting closer than I think I am. Usually misleading. <laughs> Um, yeah, I hate to ask questions about, logical questions about fantastic creatures, but how does he see to drive that mount? <laughs> he has eyeballs. There's, there's one eyeball right here. Oh, that's not what I meant. I meant because the, the armor is so high in front of him. 
probably doesn't care. He's just like, we're going think, through it, whatever so, it is. If you look. Yeah, he disappears. You can't see him, but he tilts his head. Okay. And when he looks down, that's what I was just looking at. If you look, it's hard to angle. He tilts his head from one side to the other. <laughs> he can see. And also, I think he drives more, like this. <laughs> I think it's more, get more like here. what you were saying of like, no, just. We're going through it. Take it out. Oh, you know what? I have this dry rust rust effect I wanted to hit. Because, you know, famine made sense. It's an effect paint. I'm going to test it out, and that's going to be. Oh. The hair hit me right in the cheek. Ugh. Oh. Looks like orange paint. I'll see. Well, that was a pretty noise. Not looking. Thank you for following Serial23. I'm probably saying that terribly. <laughs> thank you for the follow. And thank you for the pretty noise. All right. Gareth is gone, so I can say I'm doing. <laughs> Your fingers. See my fingers, what? Oh, you're worried I'm going to mess with the table? Yes. I'll be, I'm backing away. Like the necklace even gets lost fat folds in the back of his neck. Oh, nope, I see him again. You guys can see. I will post pictures. Well, I am. And, uh, My friend says, if you see this guy coming, it reminds me of the rules when a tractor train trains driving around. Get out of the way! Tractor trailer. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> I was right. Get out of the way, right? No, it, I was... Too big. My paper towels were right here, and it kept shifting right in my arm. It was pissing me off, so I was... Just at the same time, I was thinking... Get this out of my way. Okay. Now we're gonna see. Bitty bitty baby line. You know what? No, we're just gonna leave it without a line. No need to push that shit. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to use angel green on the first like set of or the first blanket. And he's actually sitting on a bunch of pillows. So those all have varying colors of green, but the first blanket's going to be the darker blanket. And the next blanket will be the lighter blanket. I like that color. A good one. Is it? Angel green. Oh. I just, on the, you know, like, sometimes things look really great on the bottle, and then you put them on the palette, and they're not so great. And this one's really good green.
altered. Oh, you know what, though? So he's got a blanket, a blanket, and then that piece. I would assume that piece, the piece that's actually sitting against the, the, the mount, um, probably be a leather piece. So, got a leather brown over there. And we'll just kind of go through the different colors we have sitting on our palette already and use those to kind of fill those pillows in. I can't blank you. Oh. We're gonna get snake scale out too, because I'm gonna definitely want that one for a pillow. So happy because I got all all kinds of green now. And this is my favorite green. This is like my go-to, which just does not look. There's nothing I can do to get a good picture of how flipping bright this. It still doesn't even look. That's that really bright green. Playho. That's Wizard Orb. That's Snake Scale. And then that is the. That's the Rust. And then that's what we painted him the mix. And there's random shit everywhere else that I've forgotten already. Right, Wizard Orb. Banky. Or to say it properly, blanket. Straps <laughs> come down to. And I do have. Couple of different tones that would work for all of the ropes. Oh, it's a uh, almost twenty after. You get a little more than ten. Okay, so what I'm gonna do then is. Finish this banky onto pillows. Where we'll pick up tomorrow. And we'll finish this up tomorrow. And we'll end to mission. I need to finish it. One piece is really cool, but I have a feeling it's going to be done before. Sh and I'm actually like really close. Like kind of considering maybe just staying up and finishing. Right now you are? I'm thinking about it. So close to finished with that one. All right, pillow time. Really don't have much to all. A few little details. It's still going to be easy. Not that bad.
show before. You know, I have stuff I could work. <laughs> Staring at the rust to see what it's doing. Usually when I have a technical or an effect paint, I look up how it's meant to be before I use it, but for this one, meant to be as, really liked that color. I feel like some of these pillows should have design. All of our couch pillows have things. Because an embroidery machine, wouldn't I? One of them's a big dragon with a dice roll initiative. The other one has uh, the firefly, the ship flying through the sky. Another one has the four elements from Avatar. Another one has an ad at on it. All this. Hello. Let's mix some. Pretty much still just look. Polka dots. Dumb question. You're admitting it. Are we keeping this one? I haven't decided. Why? It's a dumb answer. <laughs> Wondering. Usually when you get excited about keeping something and I don't fight it. No, in this case, it's just, I mean, it's famine. Cool. Yeah, I'm about half done with pestilence. I really just need to finish the set. Um, but to do the set, I'd have to redo this one really because famine is or pestilence is full size in this. I guess that's the end. No, we're probably not gonna keep this one, but yes, I'm gonna be A little better though. Even well, like I said, is... I realized that this was angled away, so I, I did kind of fix that a little bit. It's a little bright now. It's not showing. There's quite right, but dark anymore. <laughs> Yeah.
it is kind of like that other ones, but it looks much better in person than showing. Most of the things I do it looks much better in person. But I think that is where we're going to leave it for tonight. So he definitely has more to happen. Um, just alone, like, and got these fleshy bits. Nope, stop. I'll just sit here and go and go and go and go. So tomorrow night you you work on it some more. Yeah, I and we'll talk about. We're going to spitball. Empire story um, ideas. Empire story plots. You will be taken. Or you can paint. And I'll... Always take note. I'm fine with that. <laughs> um, okay, man. So, we're going to leave it here for tonight. We're done. We are going to be back tomorrow at 7.30. And Gareth will be streaming right after us, most likely. Usually raid him on, on Wednesday nights. And then we will be back uh, next Tuesday painting. <laughs> I have a few ideas. So we will see.